In this video, we're going to talk about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean Finale. JoJo fans have every reason to celebrate, okay? So, you're not cheers and, uh, cheers and yay, yeah, 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 it's, it's at their proper pace, okay? Keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. Now, I haven't been, uh, listening to, um, to my, to my fellow JoJo fans about, about the finale of Stone Ocean because I get to, look, well, I get to review it, but now we are. So I'm gonna give my take on that. I ain't gonna put that in First of all, this is the thumbnail. That really sums up the um the entire the entire Stone Ocean storyline. Now, through this very sequence, I now understand kung bakit uh bakit nag alternate reality, bakit nag alternate storyline na ang JoJo from Steel Ball Run onwards. Uh, Alright, we're talking about the Jojo Nanda here. Now I know uh, where Hirohiko Araki is going uh, when uh, his brain went after Stone Ocean. And don't you love the ending of that in uh, uh, ED? Wow! Okay? I'll be the world about the ones who make you out of it. Classic! What a way to, um, to end the original storyline of Jojo with that one, uh, with, with, with that AD. So we got out of the way, but it's only fitting that we, that we get to the nitty gritty of this episode. This! Now, I've experienced this kind of pacing in a Jojo finale before. That was in, um, uh, that was unbreakable and Stardust Crusaders. One, so that one, one. Slow, excruciating, and terrifying at times. Uchi really set the pacing for this episode. Talagang, uh, in, in this scenario, he was in total control. Because, uh, Emporio was actually operating out of Uchi's own reality. Talking about a class. Well, if there's anything this, this pacing will tell you is this. It's classic David versus Gunaya. Obviously, guys, I got no complaints about the pacing of this episode. Vintage Jojo. Alright. Finale wise. Vintage Jojo. Proman. First gearship. I it did not come from the first half of the episode, guys. It came from the second half. Both of them. Okay, first new ship was when Emporio kills Pucci. Uh, you can say that Emporio did a Jotaro here. Yeah, it's a, it's a typical Jotaro move. No pain in there, folks, because, well, tapos na ang, uh, ang kasakinan ni Pucci. Right there. But in the process, nagkaroon yun yung bagong reality. Which now leads to our second new ship. Opo, talaga lang. This is where Emporio realizes he's now in a different reality. Where um, all of his friends are alive. Jolene, uh, Anasui, si Ernest, and surprisingly, si Rebel. But they're, but they're all under different names now. It's a basic function of gearships, guys. It makes you deep dive. Most especially when you're watching a Jojo anime. <laughs> Na deep dive ang mga gishus kasi ng mga Jojo anime. This finale is no exception. If you're a Jojo fan and if you haven't realized that when you when you saw the finale of Stone Ocean, maybe you should take a refresher course. <laughs> so this conclusion is also guys, absolutely within. You have to watch the finale from start to finish in order to grasp what um to grasp how the, the original jojo storyline ended that was it transcends reality in plot therefore my name is on plot guys absolutely clean plot all right 
One of the cleanest spots I've seen uh, in a long, in, in quite some time now. Right? No back stories, side stories. Never been pumping explainer sequence. Pumping pumping them. But uh, even that was totally in the YouTube <laughs> My eyes and ears were kept glued to the to the screen because of its because of its support weekly plot. So well David Production hats off to you for another for another great Jojo Finani. Alright? Super clean plot guys. So face point plot What can I say? We all came together for this finale folks. So Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Storm Ocean, Finale, no brainer, folks. Two thousand and a big one. It's been a while since I uh, since I gave that kind of rating. You know, I can't. Uh, as you know, guys, I can't. Uh, I can't lift my foot over because bigger than family. Right? Or even YouTube, much worse. So, what's in your mind? So it's two thumbs up and a big toe. For me, this is the best finale in this franchise. Right now, as I'm saying to you. Kahay ba tayo yung ano niya eh? Yung yung pag-end niya in this particular JoJo series. But if not for the entire original storyline. Pero bottom line was this. It will make you understand why Hirohiko Araki, the creator of Jojo, suddenly went from uh, from the Joestar bloodline to the alternate realities? Yeah, Steve Balvan, Jojo, and now Jojo Lands. May bago na po, Jojo Lands. So, as an as an anime only fan, yeah, I am looking forward to Steve Balvan now. <laughs> Bring it on, David. Bring it on. So. Don't worry guys! Pero, meron akong, meron akong suggestion pala ng mini. Netflix, please do not, uh, do not release the entire anime in bulk. Sira yung lost art of, ano eh, of watching one episode, one anime episode a weekend. Alright? You know, it's a lost art form these days, guys. The, you you get to wait for your favorite anime every week for, to, just to watch one episode. And you're gonna talk about that episode for the next seven days. It's a lost art form right now. And well, whether we, whether we admit it or not, Netflix is destroying that. So Netflix, for God's sakes, if you are going to release Steel Ball Run this way too, you will disappoint a lot more JoJo fans. Right? I always got disappointed. I say, eh, so, well, it's Stone Ocean, and I am reviewing it. So, talagang, wow. Sana, wag sanang ganito rin ng Netflix ang Steve Ball Run. Yun ang, yun ang wish ko, guys. So, we just have to wait for Steel Ball 1 to drop. Okay? Tayo mga, jo tayo mga fans ng Jojo. In the meantime, what's the other reviews on this, uh, on this playlist? Okay? We're almost at, um, uh, we're almost at the end of, uh, Wonder 2023, guys.